Now let us verify the geometrical significance of derivative using a circle with center different from 0, 0. So what I have taken is equation of circle x minus 3 ka square plus y square is equal to 25. Now the center of the circle x minus 3 ka square plus y square is equal to 25 is 3 comma 0 and the radius of the circle is 5. You can see here clearly the center is 3 comma 0 and the radius is 5. So I'm going to draw the circle with center 3 0 and radius 5. So <clears throat> this is uh, the y axis x axis center 0 0 and I'm going to uh, take center 3 0 0 1 2 3 so this is the point center 3 0 of the circle and radius is 5 you can see 3 plus 5 should be 8 so 3 4 5 6 7 8 so my radius is 5 units so this is the radius so let me draw the circle So I have drawn the circle with center 3 comma 0 and radius 5 units. So this must pass through minus 2 on negative x axis. And I am plotting other points on y axis too. The negative and the positives. To verify the geometrical significance of derivatives for this circle I have taken a point on the circle as 6 comma 4 let's say this point is 6 comma 4 you can see on x axis it is 6 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 on y axis it is 4 points 0 1 2 3 4 so I have taken 6 on x axis and 4 on y axis so this satisfies the equation of circle. What is equation of circle? I, let me write here 2. x minus 3 ka square plus y square is equal to 25. <coughs> you can check algebraically. Put 6 comma 4 in place of x and y. What you get? 6 minus 3 ka square. That is 3 ka square 9. Plus 4 ka square. That is 16. So 9 plus 16 is 25. So this point is very well on the circle. Now I will draw the tangent to this circle at this point. And I will use the same technique. First I will uh, draw the radius joining the point O to A. So I will join center of the, I will join the origin not origin I have to take the point 3 this is center 3 comma 0 I will join the center of the circle to the point A to get the radius at point A so this is the radius of the circle and now I will draw a perpendicular at point A so I will take the help of set square as I have done earlier I will align one side of the set square with radius of the circle. And I suppose this is perfectly aligned. Now I will draw the tangent. So this is the tangent. the circle at point 6 comma 4. Let me extend the tangent on other side.
I have extended the tangent on the other side. And I will extend x axis since the tangent is not in the, the point of intersection is not visible. Uh, so I need to extend x axis on the positive side. So let me extend. Okay. So this is the point of intersection. Of the tangent line with positive x-axis. Now I will have to check whether this angle is 90 degree to verify whether my tangent has come out as perfectly. You can see my tangent line is perfectly aligned with the bottom line of protector and uh, the radius is perfectly aligned with 90 degree angle. So the tangent is perpendicular to the radius that means this tangent is perfect. Now I will have to measure the angle of inclination of this tangent line line with positive side of x axis. This is positive side of x axis. So let me measure this angle. So I have aligned my protector baseline on x-axis and uh, what I am looking is the angle, the obtuse angle made by this tangent line with positive x-axis is up to this is 140, then 141, 42 and then this is 143. This line is making angle 143 degree with the positive x-axis. So that is the angle of inclination of this line. Let us name this line as say line PQ. So line PQ is making angle 143 degree. The angle of inclination of the line is 143 degree. Now what is the slope of the line? So for that I will take the help of scientific calculator. So slope of tangent line PQ that is equal to tan of 143 degree this must be equal to let's see and this is obtuse angle so angle uh, the value must be negative so i have found the angle to be <coughs> tan 143 is minus 0 0.75355 so this is approximately minus 0 0.75 this is the slope of tangent line pq and now i remove the calculator i will find the slope of this tangent line using the derivative of this curve that is circle that is the derivative of the derivative of this equation x minus 3 cos square plus y square is equal to 25 so let me differentiate i will differentiate the equation of circle so uh, differentiate x minus 3 cos square plus y square is equal to 25 with respect to x. So in the first term what do I notice is x minus 3 cos square x minus 3 cos square depends on x minus 3 and x minus 3 depends on x so here comes the chain what i will do is i will find the derivative of x minus 3 cos square with respect to x minus 3 and that is very simple let us say x minus 3 is t so derivative of x minus 3 cos square with respect to x minus 3 means derivative of t square with respect to t in my mind i can assume this as t so this becomes t square so derivative of t square with respect to t is 2t that means 2 into x minus 3 multiplied by the derivative of x minus 3 with respect to x. So what I get is 2 into x minus 3 because derivative of 2t square with res uh, derivative of t square with respect to t is 2t. So 2 into x minus 3 my t is x minus 3 into derivative of x minus 3 with respect to x 
and that is 1 minus 0. So that is only 1. So <clears throat> now as earlier uh, since y square depends on y, y depends on x, here also I will use the chain rule derivative of y square with respect to y into derivative of y with respect to x. Now what is derivative of y square with respect to y? This is 2y into what is derivative of y with respect to x? That is dy by dx. And what is the derivative of constant? That is 25 which is 0. So ultimately by doing the algebra what do I, what do I get is dy by dx is equal to I take this term on the other side minus 2 into x minus 3 and divide by 2y so the answer is minus x minus 3 upon y. Now I will find the derivative value which is the derivative of this circle at the point 6 comma 4. So derivative value at the point 6 comma 4 this is equal to minus 6 minus 3 upon 4 and that is minus 3 upon 4 and we divided earlier it came out to be minus 0 0.75 so you can see that the answer found using angle of inclination 143 degree that is minus 0 0.75 is same as the answer found by or the value of the derivative at the point 6 comma 4 is minus 0 0.75. So the derivative value at 6 4 and the slope of this tangent is same. So hence we have verified once again the geometrical significance of derivative that was uh, derivative of let's say this curve derivative of the circle x minus 3 square plus y square is equal to 25 at a64 is same as slope of tangent at a64 so we have verified the geometrical significance that is derivative of a curve at any point on it is equal to slope of the tangent is equal to slope of the tangent to the curve at that point. Now earlier we took the circle as x square plus y square is equal to 25 with center 0 0 and of course radius 5 and verified the result. Then we shifted this uh, origin of the, the center of the circle to the point 3 comma 0 we kept the radius same as 5 units and verified the result. So we have verified the derivative uh, of a curve at any point, the geometrical significance of that as slope of the tangent to the curve at those point of contact with the help of circles. Now we will verify the same result for some other curve and check whether this result works over there or not. Let's proceed.